So this is my senior project. It is a simple 3D game. I use Ogre 3D for the 3D rendering and Crazy Eddie's GUI for the user interface. The idea of the game is the player takes the role of a vampire in a medieval city on an island. Right here is the dock and you can see the water, the ocean. I'm just showing some of the rendering effects, reflections of the moon from the skybox. The white is fog. So I designed my engine, which I titled Spellbite. A few features of the engine is that it data is external and can be edited and reloaded at runtime. Here's a stable outside the town that will have some animals at some point. And here is this city, some NPCs walking around. They randomly walk to locations within the town and at certain times they idle, doing idle animations. So right here I'll demonstrate the vampire's blood sucking. Targets will highlight when they are targeted. There's some feedback for the player letting you know that you've successfully fed off a NPC. So a large minority of the buildings can do have interiors and can be walked in. However, there's nothing inside them as I haven't had time to put props and objects in them to make them a little more lively. Another feature of the my Spellbite engine is it has Lua embedded, and so Lua can be executed within it and several of the game objects are binded to Lua. So here is a an old abandoned church the player can go into and this is basically the vampire's lair or nest. And there's a coffin in here that the player can target and it initiates a sleep sequence. It simply fades the screen to black and back again. At this point, I don't have NPCs reacting to any of the player's actions, so when the player feeds, none of the player's other NPCs care. Here's the new church. With some benches inside and an altar. Another building that can be entered that would be an inn at some point. And here I'll demonstrate my console using Lua. 
a disabled player collision, which also enables a flying mode. Increase my speed. There's a castle that is currently not used, however it is there to be used at some point. Have it, guards and NPCs up there, maybe quests or whatever. Here I just show some more of the island. The different terrain height of the island is determined by a height map, which is the black and white grayscale picture. Here I'll show my graph system, which I use to for the NPCs walking. I use A star search algorithm for their pathfinding. So the yellow blocks show the nodes, and the blue lines show the edges between them. The NPCs follow those. Again, and as I will demonstrate later on, the graph can be modified and edited at runtime. So here's my map file of XML, and I will show some editing of the world at runtime. Here's all the doc information. So here I will rescale the old church and move it so that you can see that all of this can be done and changed at runtime. And all of this is done through Lua, as you can see by the keyword Lua in the console. Here I'll show that by reloading the world, it also randomly places the NPCs. Any of them that were killed are reloaded and it restarts. From here I will show that any models can be removed and added.
Now I'll demonstrate that the graph system can be modified at runtime. Here are all the nodes within the level, as well of all the, as well as all of the edges. We'll demonstrate this by simply removing some of the edges at the beginning. As you can see, those nodes no longer have edges connecting one another. Now I'll place them back. And that is my senior project. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.